Okay, friends, we're back with episode 7, and I'm sorry if I don't seem as excited and, and, and hype to introduce this episode, but I am fresh off the back of the death of our first Mon, um, Reaper. I'm incredibly sad about the loss, honestly, but we need to keep on. We need to keep on fighting. We need to find out what's going on next. We need to keep moving forward, you know? We didn't know him for long, but he meant a lot to me, and... It doesn't matter how long you know a Mon for, when they're yours, they're yours, and it's your responsibility to care for them, and we let them down. That makes me sad. But we need to go forward with an attitude of being better, learning from our mistakes, and making sure that that type of crap cannot happen again. So, let's explore the Pokemon Center, see what the locals have to say, and keep on keeping on in memory of Reaper. Let's go. Hello, you're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? Have you caught Spiro? Will you trade it for my Machop? No. Did, did we deposit Spiro? That's a very good point. That Deathbringer. Bye, Spiro, you monster. I know it's not Spiro's fault, but I can't help but hold a grudge. If you give your Pokemon berries to hold, they can eat them while they need to be when they need to in battle. The manufactured healing items like potions are no good as held items. Pokemon can't use them on their own. See, now that's crazy because some Pokemon would totally easily be able to use held items. I don't know. Hey, have you got a moment? You live here in Alola, right? I've got a favor I'd like to ask. Do you mind? Uh, no problem. Well, thank you. I'm so glad that you would listen to a request from a total stranger like me. I'm actually here in Alola with my darling hubby. It's our honeymoon. He saw this Pokemon called Cutifly on Route 3, and it seems like my hubby was totally smitten with it. We don't have them back home, see? He said it was too cute for words, with a yellow body and a long, pointy proboscis. Anyway, I wanted to ask if you could catch one of those cute fly for me. If I know what kind of a Pokemon it is, then I can go and probably catch one myself. Like I said, I think they are somewhere on Route 3. If you catch one and come back to show me as Pokedex entry, I can pay you for your trouble. Nice! Added some money. Hopefully it's the first encounter on Route 3, then we got ourselves a new mod and some money, and yeah. I think I'll get myself a treat to the cafe to pump myself up before playing the first trial. Alright, Hal. Yeah, no, no worries. Yeah, yeah, no need to console us about our recent loss or anything, you douche. Whenever I'm sleeping, my Oricorio comes in at some point and falls asleep on my tummy. That's damn adorable! What's an Oricorio and where can I find one? That sounds hella cute. If a Pokemon's move lands as a critical hit, it will deal 50% more damage. Yeah, we know, bruh. We know. Hold on. Hold on. This place here. Surely this is not part of a route still. Oh, Flip! Who are you? Greetings, Captain Lima here. And my trial? Begins mere steps from here in Verdant Cavern. Note that the Pokemon living within Verdant Cavern are quite fierce. I wouldn't venture in unless you prepared some potions and so forth. Through attempting the trials during the Island Challenge, one can exceed his or her own limits. That is what the Alolan people believe. Once you enter Verdant Cavern, you will not be able to leave until you have completed the trial. Are you prepared for the trial? Oh, hell no, we ain't prepared for the trial. What the crazy girl? I mean, boy, girl, boy, girl. Aren't we in some kind of town, though? This can't still be Route 2, can it? Why are there just Pokemon centers scattered on routes now? It's confusing the hell out of my Nuzlocke senses, and I don't like it. 
Oh, that would go so much so sweet. Boy, if only the water and the sea were still to pop, then I could heal my Pokemon. Or you could just go to the Pokemon Center that's right here. I don't understand you, lady. Oh, hello. You're a trainer. Happy days. Wee! Wee! It's a battle! A battle! Yeah. Okay. Okay, Malia. Show me what you got. Ooh, she has a cute fly. Which is freaking adorable! My god, what are you? I'm guessing you're a bug flying type. Uh, regardless of that, we're gonna stay in and we're gonna go for a fake out. Nice and free damage. Not the best defenses. What? Why? That thing has fairy wind? And it didn't get flinched by fake out? But there was no, there was no um, ability marker that came up to tell me why. I am very confused by this. Okay, I think it's time that we switch. Let's switch into Dapper. Dapper can handle this. Even though Cute Flies a bug type, I believe we can handle this. I have no idea why he didn't get flinched though. That's so interesting. Yeah, that's going to do zero point nothing. There we go. Our peck should KO this thing from this range. Although I really don't want it to in some ways. It's so freaking adorable. I want a cute fly. I really want to catch a cute fly on Route 3. Holy monkeys. Look at the little guy. It's like a fuzzy little mosquito moth thing. Why? I lost! But you look so happy about it. Hey, trainer! What's throw a ball with a Y button mean? What's it mean? It's okay, it's a meta stuff, you don't need to know. Don't worry about it. Oh, monkeys! Okay, what is this? I have not been so on edge in a long time. Playing Sun has got me more on edge than I've ever been with a Pokemon game in a long time. Okay, Arm Thrush should get us a nice and easy KO. Let's go. Oh, nice evasion, bruh! Your whiskers may be dapper, but not quite dapper enough to save you. Goodbye, my friend. Level 11, nice! Not gaining as many stats as I would like, honestly. That's quite worrying. I think maybe your IVs might be quite low. But that's cool, that's cool. He's still our homeboy. What's in here? Oh, another trainer, nice. I'm looking for berries to have my Pokemon hold. Okay. I'm really happy for you. I mean, I'm looking to be the very best like no one ever was, but I didn't tell you that, did I? Pokemon Breeder J. <laughs> Sent out Butterfree! Oh, sweet! Nice! Okay, so we don't really want to be sticking around against the Butterfree because we, we have a type disadvantage and no type advantage. So we're going to switch into Woody. You can totally kick some booty and take some names. Gust. Nice! <laughs> that was so lucky. Hot death. That still did so much damage! Calm down! Oh, I was gonna say, we've got a lot of speed. Come on. Nearly a one hit KO. Confusion. Whoa! Okay, we outspeed and we KO with Peck. Nothing can go wrong, surely. Oh, thank goodness. Even though, I mean, there are situations where I would never normally have anything to worry about that have me worrying in Sun. Because things are just not as predictable. You think, oh yeah, I can do this thing. But no, Hyper Potion from a trainer with level 12 Pokemon, you know? Whew. Insane. <laughs> berries lie at the base of trees. After all, that's why they're berries. Thank you for the insight, friend. I just... I couldn't be more ecstatic. Thank you. Okay, we still got some good HP between us. We should be alright. Oh, hello! Pokeball, go! I hate getting revives in Nuzlocks. It's the, it's the biggest slap in the face. Really. 
Okay, what we got here? We have ourselves a Growlithe! What? Have you not found a Growlithe yet? No! Yeah! We can't, we can't have it on our team, but we can catch it. Yeah! Nice and Growlithe! Awesome! Alright, let's fake out. I'm this so jealous. Maybe you can't get Growlithe in the moon. That makes you very sad. Oh, grab a Susan bite, sneaky monkey. And he flinched us, the cheeky little devil. Oh, I'm going for that ember. Don't burn, don't burn, don't burn. Yeah, we good. Okay, low on that accuracy. Okay, we're gonna switch now because we're not gonna KO this guy. We're gonna switch to Wongle, I think. Oh, what moves do you have, actually, friend? Wing attack could be useful. Let's go for that wing attack. Okay. Let's do this. They should take him down to like 30% HP. Whoa, okay. Optimistic. But we avoided. That's good. And now let's get our catch on with a Pokeball. That should be enough. I'm gonna call you Balkanine. That's my plan. I just really super wish you could be on the squad. My god! Such amazing type of diversity we could have if we could just have any of them on, on the squad. Holy monkeys. Nuzlocke's are punishing in this game! Look at his happy little Pokedex face! Aww. How cute is that? That is so cute. Oh my god. It's both clever and loyal, but if a stranger tries to invade its territory, it barks threateningly. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a nickname. I'm gonna call you Balkanine. Uh. No, that's Boek. Awesome. Oh man, I really wish Balkanine could be part of the squad. That would be so cool. I'm so sad, but he can't be. Why? There is so much grass in so many different areas that look like they jet off into new routes on each route. But they don't. Oh, a Smeargle. Nice. Okay, so we're going to catch you, friend. But we are not going... To have you in our squad, obviously, unfortunately. Well, hopefully we're gonna catch you. We might just shut up KO you. Just one more, one more, one more, one more. No, no, no more, no more. There we go. Nice. Okay, let's get our Pokeball on and catch ourselves a Smeagol. How crazy is it, boys and girls? You can catch yourselves a Smeagol so early on. Oh, what? Oh no, don't struggle, Smeagol. Come on, bro. It don't gotta be this way! <laughs> Why you do this? Ah, oh, well, at least Honda leveled up to 13. Not bad at all. <laughs> Force Palm! Nice! Okay, let's get rid of... Ooh... Maybe Arm Thrust? 15... 2 to 5 times... Could potentially be 75 power. Force Palm is quite powerful. 60 power. Potential paralysis. Let's just get rid of focus energy. I'm not going to use that anyway. Let's be real here. Nice. Very nice. Wait, are you the trainer? Yeah, you're the trainer. We already fought. So this isn't a new part of the route, this is the same part of the route, it's a different way of getting to it. These routes are much bigger and more expensive and harder to evaluate. I like it though. Oh great flying type, it's a freaking Spearow. <sighs> we do have somewhat of a flying weakness, actually. But Dapper can take this. I believe in the Dap. We need a rock type, we need something that can easily take on flying types. Growl. Okay, not happy about that, but it's better than a peck. 
I guess. Let's go for that pet. Okay, we should take this bad boy down in one more hit. This is fine. Spearow is the Nuzlocke killer this gen so far. So scary. Nice, 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 nice. We should probably use a couple of potions, to be fair. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get ourselves a little bit more healed up. I, I can't be taking this pressure anymore. This is too scary. Far too scary. Oh, hello, berries. Nice. Chesto berry. Leper berry. And another Chesto berry. Not bad at all. Good old Resto Chesto. Okay, so it looks like, unless I'm mistaken, there's nothing else we can do here unless we want to go and do the uh, the island challenge already. Seriously. That's kind of scary. Okay, well, well what we're going to do then, we're going to end this episode with us catching a Smeargle. Then, my friends, we're going to go and take on the island challenge for episode 7. How does that sound for you? I don't know about you, but it sounds goddamn exciting for me. Why? Why sketch, Smeagle? Why? Okay, come on, let's get that power on the go. Oh, no, we should have KO'd. No, no, it was a crit. Yeah, that's fine. No, fine. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get another chance. It's all good. Uh, in fairness, though, uh, we only have four Mon, but they're looking quite strong. Right? They're looking quite strong for the old early game. We've got a level 13 Honda, a level 14 Dapper, level 13 Woody, and a level 8 Wingle. Uh, mm. Wongle is looking a little bit low leveled right now. Okay, tell you what we'll do. Between now and the next episode, we'll have ourselves a little bit of a training montage. We'll get ourselves healed up, we'll do a bit of training, we'll get ourselves stronger, because something tells me if the island challenge is going to be tougher than the battle we had against the, the captain in Haoli Town, uh, yeah, I'm not willing to take that on lightly. Uh, lightly, even. Uh, not a chance in Hades. I'm not losing another Mon. I can't. I can't. Not after losing... Not after losing Reaper so soon ago. I can't take it. So we need to be prepared. We're going to have a little bit of a trainer montage. We'll record that. We'll tack that on to the beginning of the next episode. But we can't take any chances. I want to have at least a level raised for each Mon before we go for that challenge. So yeah, have yourselves. This is an awesome day. Like if you did. Dislike if you didn't. Comment and let me know why. And I'll see you for the next part. When we take on the first island challenge. I am ridiculously scared. Bye!